But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. You, yeah, you, mm -hmm. you, Sammy. Mm -hmm. Last week, you came here. You brought documents here. On this same mining, mining thing, a lot of documents. Only for us to find out in the media that apparently, say your 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 documents are fake documents. I've even been accused of um, um, unprofessional and unethical conduct in allowing you to 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 put out these fake documents to the public, and that um, before your own committee. You have been exposed, and I, I'm sure that's a video that people really put out there uh, to show that indeed um, all the things that you came to say here on Good Morning Ghana were false, and that you have been exposed right before your own committee that you chaired. Why yeah. would you engage in, in, in that? Mm. Um, so let's come to the matter of mm. licenses. Mm. Let me begin by stating emphatically that at no time have I peddled falsehood. Those out there saying that I brought fake documents to Metro TV's highly respected platform, Good Morning Ghana, know that they are being totally dishonest and disingenuous. I have copies of the documents that I downloaded from the Minerals Commission's own website. Mm -hmm. I have copies here. The 56 licenses between 2009 and 2016. They are here. And you remember this is what that, you showed us last week. Yes, and you, you remember that I made you go through them. I made copies available to you. I also have what I downloaded for the current era the Akufuado Baumia era, the 1,503 small scale. So, so let's, let's understand something. So the Minerals Commission has a website. Yes. And that website has... Um, it's called the... the, the this is, this is, this is, this is, it's called the Ghana Mining Repository. Yes. And the website is ghana.revenuedev.org. Viewers okay. can go there now. Yes. Ghana dot revenue, then D E V is a revenue development re revenue. So the mineral D E V dot org. So the mineral repository. Yeah. Is a site which is managed by the minerals. Commission. By the minerals commission. The data there is put there by the minerals commission. By the minerals commission. And when you go there, you will see this. What does it say? It gives you the state of licenses. Mm -hmm. So you would see the licenses that, they, does that they have issued. So it allows you to filter by license code. So the license code is there. Mm -hmm. Then the company entry is there. Mm -hmm. Then you also see the type of mining lease. Mm -hmm. It's also there. There's a whole column for that. Mm -hmm. Then it gives you the status, mm -hmm. whether it's an active license, whether um, it is a um, uh, a license which um, has expired is all there. But it's in progress. You see that uh, from the website. Then you are also given the region, the region where the concession is located. It's on the website. Then we are also told the kind of mineral right that you have. Is it gold? Is it um, diamond? Is it granite? Is it... Um, um, uh, 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 salt is all provided in the repository. Then the duration of your your lease mm -hmm. is it for five years? Small scale mining lease five years. Is it uh, large scale? You know, thirty years. It's all there. Mm -hmm. A very comprehensive data. Mm -hmm. And this is what is the authority that all of us have been using. Parliament uses it. Um, civil society organizations, if you recall, the work that the fourth estate did, yes. they, that is the same yes. source, yes. the Ghana Mining Repository. Yes. The work that Imani has done, yes. you've seen Bryce Simmons, Franklin mm -hmm. Kujo, they've done an analysis, that same website, the mm -hmm. Ghana Mining Repository, 
that is what we all use. The only difference is that I decided to download because especially when the fourth estate realized that some changes were being affected, some information were being withdrawn. And it's, it's been happening under this government. Um, uh, if you go on their website, you are referencing some items, and then some people begin to, you know, uh, fidget and uh, alter. So it's always better to, you know, download, have a hard copy. That's all I did. Came here with, with a hard copy. And so very, very detailed, mm -hmm. you know, when you go on the Ghana Minor Repository. And I hope viewers, as they are watching, are on the, on the site, and they can see Ghana.revenue. So this is actually, it, if you're watching us, this is yes. it. It's yes. the Ghana Mining the Repository. Ghana Mining Repository. And you can go there now. You can go there now. Now, now, now. And it's, it's by the Minerals Commission of Ghana. It's, it's, that's their website. So at the Assurances Committee public hearings this week, mm. we are looking into this whole crisis, this whole menace. Mm. So we have invited a number of institutions who are to prevent this, who are to solve, who are primarily responsible to solve this crisis. So we started with the Minerals Commission. To our shock at the committee, the Minerals Commission CEO, when we asked for the data on licenses, he presents us with this A4 sheet, not as comprehensive as you see on his uh, website where he provides just year, data on small scale licenses issued. Year and then licenses issued, that's all. So he says 2012, 332, 2013, 283, 2014, 105. And then he provides a summary on the second page. So, so small scale licenses, 2012 to 2016, 1,402. 2017 to September 30th, 2024, 1,014. Licenses valid to date, 984. So when he presented this, fortunately, we had done the analysis on his own website. And we said, look, this data you are providing does not align. It does not tally. It does not correspond with what is available on your own website. Then he says, oh, yes, uh, you know, I saw the publication earlier on social media, so I called my team and uh, asked them what is happening and all of that. And so this is the result of the work that we've done. So we ask him, how come this, this work that you say you have done does not reflect on your website? So we, contrary to the claims out there that the committee has accepted this scanty, unverified, unvalidated, no breakdown document, I want to state for the record as chair of the Assurances Committee, that that statement out there is false. We have not accepted this because we will, be, we will not be worth even the name to accept this, just an A4 sheet. Anybody can go into Word and type this so, so just without, so. without companies, without the concessions, without the regions, without the license codes, without uh, uh, where the concessions are, are located. We, we cannot so, accept So just it. hold on a bit. Um, I want us to watch what transpired when you asked this question. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What you have just tabled before us do not align with what is on the website. What I have from your website between 2008 and 2016, 56 small scale mining licenses. Then between 2000 and 17 to September 2024, I have 1,503. I have the printouts here. Um, so can you please explain the, the discrepancy? Uh, what what, what you, are, you are telling us uh, today is different from what we have been working with from your open source data from your website. Sure, thank you very much. When I asked my mineral title office, that's the same question I posed to them. Because I saw that uh, thing, 2,800 percent here. So I gave it to all my people, assembled them, and I said, have you seen this from social media? Let's go to the documents. 
Sir, respect to what I'm reading now are licenses that were issued. It is different from renewals. So the figures may not be the same. So, for example, when I say, let's say 2012, 332 licenses were issued, or let's say 2022, 148 licenses were issued, it doesn't include renewals. I, I want you to understand clearly. So perhaps that may be creating the problem. Because you may have a license that may be, you know, small scale for five years. So let's say somebody might have obtained his license in 2017. If it's 2017, he may, let's say, be among the seven. That was issued in 2017. Do you understand that? If he's due for renewal, he might renew it, you know, when it's about to, you know, expire. So renewals are not the same as issuances. So what we can do to clarify the confusion is to now go further and state clearly in a particular year what was issued as fresh license. That's what I have here. What was renewal? What expired and the people didn't come back? It will solve your problem. So this, this does not respectively <coughs> include renewals. Mm -hmm. The figures you are talking about they may include renewals. So when I put here, let's say 2022, 148 was issued, it may be, these are new licenses, licenses that were issued in that particular year. If you add renewers that were renewed in that particular year, the figure may be higher than that. Yes. Republic of Ghana. I mean, uh -huh. shocking. Shocking. So, let me announce this morning. So, what, what, what happened there? What, so, what was the conclusion? So, we asked him to go back and bring us a more comprehensive data. We can't accept this one pager. What exactly are you asking? And, uh, uh, so I have a copy of the letter that Clark has yes. written to the CEO of the Minerals Commission, mm -hmm. dated 9th October 2024. Mm -hmm. Chief Executive Officer, Minerals Commission. Attention, Chief Director. Dear Sir, request for information. Further to your appearance before the Assurances Committee in Parliament on Monday, 7th October 2024, I act on the authority of the committee to request for the provision of the underlisted information as agreed during the proceedings. One, reconciliation of inconsistent data on mining licenses as contained in your one-page summary compared with comprehensive data originally published on the Ghana Mining Repository website. Two, a detailed breakdown of the reconciled data on licenses. This should include a list of all companies where their concessions are located and if their licenses are active, just as was originally available on your Ghana Mining Repository website. Three, data on licenses issued which have not been ratified by Parliament. Four, list of new licenses issued and renewals. Because you know that this ratification, the Supreme Court has held that if these licenses are not ratified by Parliament, they are also doing galamse. Mm. It is all illegal. And when we asked him, he said he doesn't have, he has to go and check, you know, he doesn't have the, the data. A lot of these licenses they are issuing. No parliamentary ratification. So we have asked for the data. So four lists of new licenses issued and renewals. Five lists of categories of mineral rights granted by the commission. Six, the number of licenses, if any, granted under LI2462 with the approval of the president. Mm. Seven, provide data to demonstrate the evidence of adequate mining inspectors engaged. Eight, report on Kandema and Fumbisi resettlement. Nine, detailed data on revoked licenses and circumstances for the revocation. Ten, data on companies with valid mining licenses. Eleven, list of MMDCs who have been granted mining concessions, aside those mentioned in the course of the proceedings. So in the course of the proceedings, what I revealed here, we discussed it. The Mpoho DC and the Wasa Memphi is MCE. Mm. You know, he said he didn't know that MMDCs are, uh, are, are applying for licenses and have been granted these licenses. Mm. Then the letter concludes, it will be appreciated if the information requested could reach the Secretariat not later than Monday 14th October 2024. Mm. You are also kindly requested to provide any further information that will aid the work of the committee in the preparation of this report. The Secretariat can be reached on this number and an email provided. Count on so the deadline is Monday. Monday 14th. And this is signed by 
the head of the governance cluster, uh, Madame Gifty Jage Goba. Okay. So this letter has been delivered. Okay. So there's a lot of hogwash out there. Some one pager. I mean, please, Parliament is a house of records. Um, it's not a place where you just, you know, hurriedly type something on Word and throw it to us and think that we will accept it. But you see, Doc, even with this data that he has provided, viewers can do just a quick analysis on the Ghana mining repository. He says in 2021, this government, the Minerals Commission, remember that the Minerals Commission only recommends and then the lands minister signs under mm -hmm. the law. It's the minister for lands and natural resources who gives the final approval. So the Minerals Commission only recommends. He says that 2021, they issued only 11 small-scale mining licenses. When mm -hmm. you go on the repository, I have sat down taking my time to do the work. And I have the printouts here. Mm -hmm. It's 40, not 11 as it's sort to tell. 40 small scale or 40, 40 of everything? 40 small scale, only small scale lenses. Could, could, could it be that the 29 were renewals? No, no. Renewals, when you click further, and you see, I had even commended him at the proceedings that mm -hmm. if you look at public institutions in Ghana, the Ghana Money Repository is probably okay. the so most for comprehensive. Those who are, for those who are watching when you us, click further, you will see. If you go to the uh, Money Repository, yeah. this is what it gives you. Yeah. So you will see the name of the company. Yeah. Then you will see the license type. Yeah. Then you will see the district, team, everything. Mm -hmm. Then you see start date. Start date. And you see expiry date. Yes. And then you... you then you see application date. Yes. You also have transfer date if it's somebody who is transferring then there's right. renewal date. there's renewal, if date. renewal so if it's a renewal yes. we will know the date the, the website provides that so it cannot be accurate that when you go to the website you won't be able to distinguish between renewal no and... it's not accurate you you can know it's, it's all there when you when you mine further mm. you see that in the data so 2021 whereas he claims 11 it is 40. 2023 the his infamous uh, one pager a4 sheet says 38. It's 134. Go on the mining repository. It's 134, not 38. 2024, this year, mm -hmm. he says 93. Mm -hmm. I don't know when the cutoff is for him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't indicate. It's 118, 118. Asset. Asset, asset, today. Mm -hmm. I refreshed this data yesterday. So maybe from the day he appeared before you went today. On Monday. Yes. Even before then, we had gone past one. One. Actually, if you go on the on the on the on the Ghana mining repository, the last set of mining licenses they issued was 3rd October, the mm. day the president was meeting organized labor. 3rd October. Which That's is when, which is proud to when he appeared before. Yes, then. proud to when when he appeared. You know. So 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 it doesn't it doesn't add up. The the, the dishonesty is just shocking. And you see, the thing we have forgotten, when I first put out this data here mm -hmm. on your show, the next day, MPP communicators widely circulated an article that they said the Deputy Minister's Special Assistant, Mreku Duka. Mm -hmm. I have a copy of that article here. Mm -hmm. One uh, engineer, Gomashi, mm -hmm. who said that, oh, I have rather, you know, um, yeah, this is the article, that... I have, I have rather scored an own goal that mining experts say that to stop illegal mining, bring everybody into the legal bracket. So they have liberalized the licensing regime. And, and he provides you know, statistics. He says that uh, significantly the, the Kufuado administration has, upon, uh, has improved upon the licensing procedures by 27 times, significantly opened the, leg the legal business of small scale mining by 27 times, leveraged the production of small scale by 27 times to feed a lot of downstream industries, initiated the community mining schemes, which is impacting the changing of lives and taking people away from illegalities, develop a minerals cadastral administration system, taking steps to protect the environment. Uh, we thank uh, Honorable Okuja to Ablaka. He has shown that the MPP has regularized the space very well. Mm -hmm. And all of them were circulating and saying that we have been exposed. Suddenly, when they saw that that hasn't worked, because mm -hmm. 
people are asking commonsensical questions. If it is the case that issuing a lot more licenses will liberalize the space and will stop the illegalities, will, will sanitize the environment, make sure our river bodies are clean, and all of this you know, degradation will stop. Why is it that we are seeing the contrary? We are seeing the reverse. So, seeing that that propaganda has collapsed, they have to now come up with these figures that nobody knows the source. And you saw the, and I respect the CEO of the Minerals Commission very, 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 very much. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's been in the commission for about 22 years, you know, has enormous experience. But, you know, I think the political pressure, that is what it reduces, you know, Otherwise, you maybe know, let's wait for the you know, so, mm. so, so we are waiting. So mm. there's a lot of propaganda out there that mm. has to be dismissed.